Okay, so you can actually attack this question in two ways. Um, when you use the T formula, you can use it to solve equations when the equations like have like x on 2s in them, you know, where you let T equal tan x on 2. And then that means that in your triangle, this is x here, and this here would be 2T, 1 minus T squared and 1 plus T and then squared, and then you can replace anything within the sine 2x equals tan x with what it equals, okay? So that would work if the equation was something like this, sine x equals tan x on 2. With this question here, the easiest way, if you actually have to use the t formula, there is actually an easy way to solve that, and that's just to, you know, to do this, to make it all... Um, all in terms of like sine and cos and then bring it to one side and factorize etc and solve it okay that's how you would normally solve it but if you had to use the t formula then basically what you need to do is instead of letting um, t equal tan x you let t equal t equal tan x on 2 you let t equal tan x and then what happens here this this will sit on 2x that will go to 2t, 1 minus t squared and 1 plus t squared. So it's just set up a little bit different. So the sine 2x then can be replaced with 2t on 1 plus t squared. And the um, tan x is just equal to um, t because that's what, that's what we let it equal. So then you've got sine 2x equals tan x. Are you sure that's the equation? Yep, so on this side you have 2t1 plus t squared equals t. So that's 2t equals t1 plus t squared. And then, so it's 2t equals t plus t cubed. If you bring it to the one side, actually we'll bring it to that side, 0 equals t cubed plus t minus 2t. So 0 equals t cubed minus t. Then when you go to factorise that, that will be t, t squared minus 1. So 0 equals t, t minus 1, t plus 1. So then t will equal 0, t will equal 1, and t will equal minus 1. So now we let t, we let t equal tan x. So tan x equals 0, tan x equals 1, and tan x equals minus 1. Now, it was for x is in between 0 and pi. That was the original domain. So this is going to be x equals 0 and pi, because that's where tan equals 0. This one here will be in that quadrant, not that one only, because we're only doing the first two. So that is going to be pi on 4. And this one here, tan is negative there and there, so we're only doing this first one here. So that would be... Um, 3 pi on 4, because it's pi minus pi on 4, so it's 3 pi on 4. So your solutions are 0 pi, pi on 4, and 3 pi on 4. Okay, so for this one here, we have to uh, find, you find expressions for cos 3x and sine 3x, um, and you have, you, it's good to get them in terms of like cos and sine. So you can write cos 3x all in terms of cos, by making that cos 2x plus x and then expanding that. So that'll be cos cos, so it's cos cos x minus sine sine because the sine changes, sine 2x sine x. And then breaking that up even further, the cos 2x will become cos squared x minus sine squared x times cos x minus 2 sine x cos x sine x. So that's going to be cos cubed x minus sine squared x cos x minus 2 sine x squared cos x. And then if you just get the, um, the sine squareds and change them all to uh, cos squared, and by the way, too, these are like terms, so we could just start out going cos cubed x minus 3, because that's 1 minus, minus 1 minus 2, 3 sine squared x cos x, and then cos cubed x, and changing the sine squared, we'll change that to 
1 minus cos squared x, cos x, and then I expand all this. So that's cos cubed x minus, I'm going to put the 3 and the cos is at, at the same time, so it's 3 cos x, and then be careful of that minus, okay, because that's, um, I might just rewrite this so you can see it properly. See, it's 3 cos x and then the 1 minus cos squared x. Because this part here is just the same as the sine squared that we just changed. So when we expand that, you go minus 3 times 1 is minus 3 cos x. Minus 3 times minus cos squared would be plus 3 cos cubed x. And then you're just getting the like terms here. So you got cos cubed and 3 cos cubed. So that will end up being um, 4 cos cubed x minus 3 cos x. So when we're just simplifying this section here then, that part there, um, that, that part there will just be 4 cos cubed x minus 3 cos x over cos x. So you can factorise out the cos x and you get 4 cos squared x minus 3 all over cos x, so they cancel. So that's just that section. And that's what we've got there. And now let's do the other half of it. So if we did the sine 3x, that's the same as sine 2x plus x, which is sine cos sine cos. So sine 2x cos x plus sine x cos 2x. So getting rid of the 2x, so that's, that's going to go to 2 sine cos and that one's going to go to cos squared minus sine squared. You could also write that as two as one minus two sine squared because my focus is actually to get it all in terms of sine. So that's two sine x cos x and then times the other cos x. So that's just changing that one. And then plus sine x and then that's one minus two sine squared x. So that's going to equal two sine x cos squared x plus, uh, so it's going to be sine times 1 will give you sine x, and sine times that will give you minus 2 sine cubed x. So now let's just get rid of the cos squared. So this is 2 sine x 1 minus sine squared x minus sine x minus 2 sine cubed x. Okay, so expanding the brackets, they get 2 sine x minus 2 sine cubed x minus sine x minus 2 sine cubed x. So now if you get the like terms, 2 sine x, um, that should actually be, that was a plus there, because that was the plus up there, there should be a plus. So it's 2 sine x plus sine x, that's 3 sine x, and then if we do the other one, minus 2 cubed minus 2 cubed, which is 4. So 2 sine plus 2 sine, 2 sine plus 1 sine is 3 sine x, minus 2 sine cubed minus 2 sine cubed is minus 4 sine cubed x. Okay, so the same as the other one, with this here, we go 3 sine x minus 4 sine cubed x, and we put that all over sine x. Cancel out the common factor, so you get 3 minus 4 sine squared x over sine x, and they cancel. So if you now put these two things together, you got that one, and the sine in the middle, what's the sine in the middle of those two things? The sine in the middle, if you look up there, is a minus. So it's just going to be 4 cos squared x minus 3 minus 3 minus 4 sine squared x. So it's 4 cos squared x minus 3 minus 3 plus 4 sine squared x. So if you now group these together, that one and that one, that gives you 4 cos squared x plus 4 sine squared x minus 6 which equals 4 cos squared x plus sine squared x minus 6, which is 4 times 1 minus 6, which is minus 2.